Welcome to the Jerry Graves Channel. It's a channel that talks about narcissists. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into the topic. But first, I want you to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And make sure you ring the bell. Let's jump into it. The world is set up in a predatory nature. And everybody has that. And it comes from how people are taught. Media. And just the overall values of the planet, it tends towards evil, it tends to lean towards violence. And so everybody is super focused on other people's weaknesses. A hundred percent. It's way worse than what most people think it is. People are constantly looking for weaknesses and looking for your openings and analyzing them. And it almost completely controls how they treat you. And if you're a person who has a lot of weakness, you will feel this. It's not even a question. You will feel and see people analyzing you and watching you and staring. You will see it. It's something that's not revealed unless somebody's very weak who's in the room. And you could be weak for a number of reasons. For things that you don't consider weaknesses. But... Other people perceive them as weaknesses, and you'll you'll be able to uh, decide whether they're weaknesses once you guys have their, your confrontation, if if they ever decide to to attack you. These are people that we call person hunters. Now, a narcissist is a type of person hunter, but there's many uh, people who would qualify as a person hunter. And most people have that in them. So most of your day is just like if you were playing a game of chess or a game of Go. You have to be working on your weaknesses and also openings in your life. Now, there's a difference between weaknesses and openings, even though openings are weaknesses. But the difference is, is that a weakness is like... It could be anything that makes it where things don't go in your favor. Anything that you, I mean, that you consistently do, or there could be character flaws. There could be physical weakness that causes an opening. And then there's just times where you just have openings in your life. Like if you were to drive down the street and your windows aren't tinted, but everybody else's windows are tinted. And there's a person who's looking through cars, windows to see who, you know, who's who. And if you're alone and all this, see, that's an opening. It's a weakness, but it's 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 an opening that you've allowed people to see. Literally, they can see through your window. You get what I'm saying? And there's a whole bunch of different things. So a weakness When I say weakness, I'm referring mostly to like things that you do or you say on a consistent basis that causes you to get into a weaker position or your physical ability. But when I say openings, I'm talking about stuff that people can take advantage of, whether you have physical weakness or not, like just an opening, even if they decide not to attack their their ability to analyze you through this opening and your life. So that can be if you are moving somewhere, like a lot of movement lends to 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 an opening. So like I said, I I like to compare a lot of things to chess. So if you were to go and attack, you move a pawn to, to the other side of the board. If you're trying to get your pawn to the other side of the board, there's now an opening where your pawn was originally when you first lined up the piece. You know, of course, you're trying to get that queen, but then your pawn is not protecting the king the same way, especially if it's a king, a pawn that was originally in front of the king. And sometimes you might have to use that pawn to to queen and win the game, but you still created an opening. So there's a lot of people who are completely offensive. They only think about getting that queen. They only think of pawns as as potential queens. They don't think of them as protective pieces. And uh, there's a lot of people that create a lot of uh, weaknesses just like that. You got people like Napoleon. You got people who 
are very good at conquering and they can move and but they overextend themselves and they create so many weaknesses along the way that they're bound to found to fall apart and that's many people it's like most people are either one or the other they're overly defensive or they're overly offensive and most people are overly defensive and in actuality most people aren't aren't even overly defensive or offensive they're just they're in between and it's not necessarily in between in a good way because there's an in between in a good way for example a lot of times if you get to a good position on a chessboard you can stay in that position you can move back and forth one of your minor pieces and your opponent can't do anything because you're in a good position so you're you're neutral you're not advancing you're not overly advancing and you're not building your offense you're just staying in a good position but a lot of people they're not even in a good position they're just trying to blend in and that's it when i say they're being neutral that's basically what they're doing they're trying to fit in they're not trying to get attacked they're not defending themselves from the attack they're not building up their defenses they're not closing their openings they're just trying not to be the person attacked so that's a whole different thing because a lot of people think it's offense defense or neutral which is not doing either not doing anything which is sometimes a good technique but then there's also you're doing something which you you can't really i guess trying to fit in is more of a defensive thing but it's not completely defensive because you're not defending yourself as much as you can you know what i'm saying it's not defensive enough so a lot of people just do that the, the blend in thing and that's fine but at the same time, what happens when somebody does target you, even if you try to blend it? Most people have no defense for that. You know what I'm saying? They have very little defense. And you could be, you should be spending a lot of your time doing both, building up your offense and your defense. You need to be closing off all your openings. If you have a car, tent the windows. Don't give an opening to anybody. And most people, when they choose a target, whether they are a narcissist or just any other type of person hunter, they're looking for weaknesses. They're looking for openings. They're looking for things that you don't have, needs. If they can see that you don't have a friend, let me be that friend. Let me take something from you for that service I just provided you. That's how the world works. A hundred percent. Very few people, like 10 or 20 percent of the people in the population don't think this way. Most people think this way to a degree. They're trying to take they're they're trying to take advantage of weaknesses, period. They're analyzing your weakness. You need to close off your 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 opening so they can't even see what your weaknesses are. An example of that not talking as much. That's a closing off of the weaknesses. That's the more you say, the more openings you're giving. Of course, at the same time, the more you say, the more you can get closer to getting what you want. But you got to remember, if you're saying a lot, you, you're getting, giving a lot of information. People are feeling your energy. People are, are analyzing that. So you got to know when to close off. You need to play more defensive. It's, it's, it's chess out here. It's really chess out here. And I don't want anybody who watches my videos to lose. I don't want to lose. I don't want nobody to lose. This is this is a championship game every day. You're playing in a championship game. You do not lose. You never lose. And that means you you have to play defense. Defense wins championships. Close openings. Think about the openings in your life as you move. Think about even if you're just like back to the car thing. You're driving a car. What openings are you giving? Getting. Well, your car is going to break down at some point. All cars do. So you need to be already on that. There's no there's no leaving anything to chance. And you don't put your information online. You don't give. That's another opening into your life. You don't tell people who you know. Openings. You work on your flaws. If you have a quick temper. You, that's a weakness. That's something somebody's going to be watching from afar and thinking of a way to use people think like that it's almost like thinking of a, having a domino effect on things you know thinking far ahead about how they're going to use all these things when you have an a w opening and this is a very uh, very key thing 
the more openings you have and the more weaknesses you have, the more things that somebody can attack simultaneously. And that's how chess works. It's about attacking two or more things at once and the, your per, your opponent only having one move to make per turn. So no matter what he does, he loses something. And that's how power works. They give you a list of options and all of them are bad, but you have to choose one. I remain in. So you don't want to have all these weaknesses that you have, all these character flaws, all these little things, these quirks, and have your your life open to everybody, all these openings that you have. They're going to attack you in two different ways, and you're not going to have time to defend everything. And guess what? Life is cold. You lose. Sometimes there's just no way to even get back. You can't lose no battles out here. You win every battle. That's the goal. So don't have a whole bunch of things and openings and people contemplating their mind. Oh, I'm going to hit this, this, and this. And then I'm going to say that. And I can see this opening over here with this other person. I know. And I'm going to put them together. And now all of a sudden, all this, these dominoes. No. I control the dominoes. I control the chess pieces. I control my weaknesses. You write down your weaknesses. You write down your openings. And you make sure that you control that. Don't ha let anybody across the room, anybody who thinks that they're smart, control nothing in your life. You have your plans, your goals. You need to get there. And there's going to be a lot of people in the way trying to get in the way and stop you. And that's just how it is. So that's the thing that most people don't do even when they have talent when they're trying to become musicians or all these different things they're not playing any defense they're just playing offense because that, that's what their talent talent gets them it gets them more more and more things so they they play more and more offense and then they have all these openings and then they they realize that everybody's taking shots people are jealous people hate you when you're winning and they're attacking two and three and four or five things at, at once. And you're trying to figure things out and you can't fucking... You, oh, God, I'm cursing. You can't do it. I want you to win. And if you're not about winning, unsubscribe. Because this is the winner circle. And that's what we talk about on this channel. We talk about narcissists and we talk about winning that battle. So, I mean, who's with me? If you like the video, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. That's it. <laughs> As you're winning, you close openings. You work on weaknesses. And you will get untold power, especially if you have talent and you have things that you can do. That's the game.